Well, $787 billion of your taxpayer dollars paid for that massive stimulus package we had a few months back. Last week we told you that the National Endowment for the Arts got $80 million of your money. That dough going in part to theater staging shows like Perverts Put Out or another theater showing what is described as, quote, a kinky porn horror film called Thundercrack. Now, 50 congressmen are protesting loudly, but some in the arts community are defending the move. Joining us now is one of those artists, Victor Hugo. He is live from our D.C. Bureau. Hi, Victor. Thanks for coming on. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm well, thanks. It's Megan. Kelly's the last name, but no worries. Oh, sorry um, No, no worries. Uh, listen, we've been talking about this on our air because people got outraged when they heard about some of these projects, which are, you know, you, you're an artist, but even by artistic standards, you got to admit they're pretty racy. I mean, uh, uh, $50,000 to this, this kinky art porno horror film complete with four men, three women, and a, and a gorilla. You, clearly, you can understand why people don't want their taxpayer dollars going to something like that, can't you? Well, I, I can see where people would be off guard about that, but I just want to say that I'm not in defense of poor taste. As an artist, I don't think any artist should be in defense of poor taste. As an artist, we should be trying to create beauty, especially in this uh, crazy mixed-up world that we're living in right now. However, I do believe that we have to finance the arts because it's uh, fueling the natural evolution of civilization. If we don't fuel and pay for the arts, then that's going to be detrimental to our society. Okay, so the arts sounds good, uh, you know, museums, artists, but what about, should we be paying $25,000 for perverts put out, join your fellow pervs for some explicit twisted fun, as we apparently have? Okay, with regard to that, I, I believe the fundamental question that Stearns was asking was not about uh, um, cutting off funding for the arts, because he doesn't want to uh, uh, stop the freedom of expression. However, his point was, why are we funding artists that are not being... Uh, supported in the marketplace, and I think that is a good question. And as far as uh, the artwork being offensive, um, I have something called Crackhead Jesus, which is offending a lot of people, but the point of art is really to make people think outside the box. I have not seen these uh, works of art that are being complained about, however, before well, we're showing passing some judgment of them. on them. We're showing some but, of them. But I'd have to see the whole thing. See, the thing is you're showing, you're showing bites of it, and, and that's something that's dangerous because you, you can't just look at a piece of Van Gogh and then That's because they're too dirty. They're, this, is, this is from yours. But that's because that's they're too dirty to show the whole thing. We can't show, you know, genitalia uh, on our program yeah, uh, uh, at any hour, never mind the morning hours. And, and, and well, that's fine. Even just the name. I mean, you know, perverts put out, join your pe fellow pervs for some explicit twisted fun. People don't want their money. They, they, well, you know, Victor. This stimulus package came from taxpayer dollars, not just the so-called rich, but the middle class and the working class, people who, who go to work every day, work 12, 13 hours, come home and take care of their families, churchgoers, people who don't really want to fund porn or pervs put out. I mean, can't artists like you, even though you have some controversial projects, as you point out, object as well to sort of shut down these fringe groups from getting the money so that at least mainstream or or maybe slightly less than mainstream but not these far weirdo groups would get this dough uh, i don't know again I, I don't want to comment on them as far as being weirdo groups i personally find the the title funny i think it would be i guess less offensive if they called it to catch a predator would that make it a little less offensive to you no but i would i'd like not to have to fund anything that promotes uh perverts having explicit, explicit twisted fun, which is not what To Catch a Predator is about. To Catch a Predator is a legitimate news show that tries to put people behind bars. No, 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 and, and I agree with you on that, Megan, but what I'm saying is the title, the, the, you had mentioned before that the title was offensive, so I said, well, maybe if they change the title to Catch a Predator, but I think what we're getting at here, and, and nowadays as artists, and, and this is what the modern art music movement tries to do, is we try to raise awareness by pushing the envelope. Right now, with everything that people are seeing on the Internet and hearing on the radio, I mean, nothing shocks anybody anymore. So sometimes as artists, in order to get your attention, we have to quite literally grab you by the artistic throat and say, okay, now that we've got your attention, let us educate you. I'd be curious to see these videos, and I'd be curious to see the reactions of the people. Um, one thing that I can give credit to these artists for is the fact that they 
are now getting us to have a, a discussion about art, which is something that is very important and that's lacking in this country. Well, there's and a real question the about, whether, about whether this qualifies as art. You know, I'll leave that to, to the uh, experts, which I am not when it comes to art, but, uh, but I do understand the objection let, let me, let me of many people. That. But let me just finish my point, and then you can make the last one. I do understand okay. the objection of taxpayers to saying, look, I, I don't go to work for 13 hours a day as somebody who lays pipe down for a living so that I can fund, and I quote, nude simulated sex dances, Saturday night pervert reviews, and pornographic horror films. I got better things to do with my cash, with my taxpayer money, like you put away money for my, my children's college education, than, than, I, than to spend it on things like that. that that's a point I, I get and I think most Americans can get. And, and I appreciate that point too. Uh, as an artist myself and as a taxpayer I do. However, I, I disagree with your saying that you're not an art expert because art is obviously in the eye of the beholder and some people may consider this art. It was obviously considered art and that's why it was funded. Um, Don't you think though, Victor, yeah, I, when, you, when, you have to, when you give out taxpayer dollars there should be some discernment between projects that are generally accepted in the artistic field as, I guess, absolutely. mainstream, for lack of a better word, and projects like this? I mean, you know, if you take your argument to its logical conclusion, we could be putting uh, taxpayer dough into triple X porn. I, you know what? Have you ever been on a film set? And, and, and I'm not defending triple X porn. I, I don't defend the exploitation of women or children. I don't defend the exploitation of anybody. But if you've ever been on a film set, it's art because it takes everybody to get together. It takes the producer. It takes the director. It takes the director of photography. It takes the catering people. I mean, making a film, whether it be porn or Disney, is an art. So it is what it is. And you don't have to like all the art. I mean, I, I don't like all the art. But that just means I don't. You don't support have to like. I agree. Know. Listen, we have the First yeah, yeah, Amendment. Yeah. You don't have to like it. But the other point is, you also shouldn't have to fund it. That's the that's the point being made by these congressmen. Victor, you were a good guest. Thanks for coming on and offering us the other point of view. You know, I want to point out that we asked the National Endowment of the Arts repeatedly to send somebody. They wouldn't do it. You came on. You made a good argument. We appreciate you being here. You're welcome, and congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. You got All a heck the of a name. Take care. Uh, what were they doing Cheers. that gorilla? What was it? Four men, Four men, three women, three women and a gorilla. And a gorilla. Yeah. We can't show that on TV either. Not even going to try. Mm.